Hello everybody, this is Mark. Welcome back to my channel. Before I get too far along, I'm building a cauldron creep. Uh, I had one about a couple years ago and uh, he finally fell apart so I decided to build a new one. So let me show you what I've done. This one's a little bit different than my older one. I uh, used half inch PVC and uh, reindeer motor and I had a bunch of legs left over from skeletons. So what I did was instead of making them a regular skeleton, I used this ram's head and I'll use legs as arms also. That's why his hands look a little strange. So what I did was I started to build the frame, but instead of, if you look at a lot of these cauldron creeps online, you'll see the, you'll see the, the frame on the outside of the skeleton. Well, I didn't, I didn't like that look. So I just start cutting my skeleton open and inserting the PVC inside. That's why it's half inch so it can fit inside. And then once I corpse it, you won't be able to see any of that. So I put that all inside. I just drilled holes through his feet. This one I had to split because it wouldn't fit inside. This one here, the PVC is actually inside this piece. I just drilled a hole, came out with it. Now on the other side, I had to do it a little bit different. This one here, I actually had to, I had to split. Um, I think it's because when I drilled the hole, it was a little bit off center. So I had to split it. Uh, I glued and then I just screwed a couple pieces just to hold it, just to give it a little bit more strength. And I also used a reindeer motor. Now what I like about these reindeer motors is they are waterproof, very quiet. And if you take these apart, you can look down inside, there's actually a spot, you'll actually see where the mold was made, two little circles. They're perfect spots where you can drill right through and then you just screw it straight to the, to the frame. I made my bracketry just out of plastic. Again, just trying to keep everything more weather resistant to rain and stuff. The only metal I really have on here is the screw here, which I'll cover with some type of grease or something. Now up here, the reason they have these couplers here is because I wanted to give this room to move, but I didn't want it to move too far where it would go past anything. So I put the couplers in. Again, a couple screws just to give it a little bit more strength. This arm I'm gonna probably have to adjust. But that's the free the free arm that just floats around at the bottom of the stirring stick. And then I have another just comes up, and this is another leg I used. I just drill a hole in the bottom. And I'll adjust that when I need to, but that's a foot. So I think it looks good with the feet at the top as arms because he's more like a ram type body, animal body than a human. All right, stay tuned. All right, so I worked on them a little bit more. I started to corpse them up. I used the plastic bag with the heat gun. So now I'm gonna to have to start painting them. I got a stirring stick into the cauldron there. I started to partially dress them because I had to put the clothing on him and then had to put his arms and stuff back on so I'll have to work around the the clothing part a little bit so 
but as as I was as I was saying before, I corpsed his his back legs, and now you cannot see PVC as clearly as it was before. I actually painted him up a little bit. There's his back. There's the reindeer motor for his head. I don't have the that hooked up right now. There's the plug for it, so I just gotta run the plug, run the wiring a little bit better. All right. Well, this is gonna be the part one of this build. I'll be making another video soon, hopefully with him finished. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm also going to be working on the cauldron, making that a little bit better. I actually, uh, just so you know, just to keep it uh, more stable, I screwed the cauldron to this to this frame piece, and then I just painted it black. get a chance keep an eye out for uh the second part of this build don't forget to subscribe and like and leave a comment if you have any questions i'll be more than happy to try to answer them for you have a good night